<clears throat> hey YouTubers, today we're going to learn Botania. The prerequisites for starting Botania are 30 bone meal and a chicken farm. We'll start by making some floral fertilizer, a petal apitheria, a pure daisy, a wand of the forest, a mana spreader, an end of flame, a mana pool, a runic altar, and then a mana tablet. First off, let's make some floral fertilizer. You start with some manure or bone meal and plant it in the grass. And you'll want to collect dandelions and poppies. Grab these flowers and convert them into their dye form by putting them in the crafting table. Next, go to your crafting table and put the dyes in with some bone meal. And you can make floral fertilizer. Take that floral fertilizer and plant them in the grass to get magical flowers. Keep doing this until you get a mystical white flower. We need that. Go back to your crafting grid and turn your mystical white flower into its mystical white petals. Now we're going to make the petal apothery. The petal apothery is just cobblestone, a cobblestone slab, and mystical white petal. Plant your mystical, I mean your petal apothery down, and you need to put water inside. So use a bucket and drop water in. Next, we need to um, let's see. Next, we're going to make a pure daisy. So a pure daisy, we're going to make using the petal apothery. Looking at the formula, it looks like it takes four mystical white petals. So we need to get two more um, mystical white flowers. It'll take some while, so you'll need lots of bone meal and lots of chicken manure. Once you have your um, once you have your white mystical flower petals, you're gonna need some seeds. Go to your petal apothery and drop the seeds into the uh, petal apothery. Next, it'll give you this option, add seeds to create the pure daisy. So after you throw that in, you'll create a pure daisy. Plant your pure daisy on the ground. What pure daisies are useful for are creating um, magical stone and magical wood. So plant some oak wood around the daisy, and then you can also plant stone around the daisy. And it takes about a minute, but after a minute, these will convert into useful uh, building blocks for Botania. Next, we're going to make a wand of the forest. So once this wood converts, we can make a wand of the forest. Just give it a moment. <laughs> okay, cool. So our wood turned into living wood. Oops. Harvest the living wood. Now we're going to use the living wood to make a wand of the forest. The wand of the forest is very easy to make. There's a lot of different types. They all do the same exact thing. It doesn't matter which one you make. Um, try to hold on to your white petals, your gray petals, I mean your light gray petals, your red petals, and your brown petals. So I recommend making like a blue or purple, pink or green one because we're going to be using those other types of petals for our endo flames. So once we have our wand of the forest, we're going to make a mana spreader. Just plant down your mana spreader anywhere. It won't be able to do anything yet, but we once we start generating some mana, we can start using our mana spreader. Okay. 
Next, we're going to make endoflame. So an endoflame is a type of flower that creates um, uh, mana. So these are an endoflame, and the formula for them is two brown petals, a light gray petal, and a red petal. So you're just going to make that the same way that we made that other type of flower, the pure daisy. You're just going to get a bucket, um, fill up. You're going to fill up your petal apothery and put those petals in, throw some seeds in, and you'll get some endoflames. What endoflames do is when you toss them a burning, burnable item like coal or wood, they'll convert that energy into uh, mana. If you take your wand of the forest out, you can check the status of them to see like how much mana they have. And you can also see that they are successfully linked up to our uh, mana spreader. If they aren't, hold shift and right click and then right click on the mana spreader. So those are linked up. And then um, this will start collecting that mana. So this is full of mana. So we got to figure out where we're going to store this mana. Um, the next thing we're going to make is a mana pool. So a mana pool requires, uh, let me grab my pickaxe, requires living rock, which we get from the pure daisy. So you're going to place your mana pool near your mana spreader where it has like an easy um, target. There's nothing in the way. And we're going to take our um, wand of the forest and we're going to shift right click and then shift right click on here. And that's going to start shooting the mana into the mana pool, and that's going to start filling up. Um, the thing about mana pools is, though, like they can fill up just like a little bit, but that can actually be a lot of mana. So it takes a really long time to fill this pool up with concentrated mana. Next, we're going to make a runic altar. Let's see. Runic Altar is helpful for making like really advanced stuff. So we need a mana pearl and what the heck? So we need use the mana pool to convert an ender pearl to a mana pearl. So once your mana pool fills up with enough mana, you can start converting items to it. So um, what I just did there is that there, there's a on the left is a mana tablet and on the right is a mana pool. But uh, we haven't filled a mana tablet yet, so it's fine if it points either way. We'll get there. So first, like once this fills up with some mana, you can toss items into it, and it will convert them into their magical form. So for example, we can take iron, and it says we don't have enough mana yet to convert that into that mana iron. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I'm going to have it set so that mana items get put into the pool. And that should be pretty. Alright, so now we can throw our iron ingot in and we get a mana steel ingot. We can throw a gunpowder in and get mana powder. And we can throw our ender pearl in and get a mana pearl. So then we can build our runic altar. So our runic altar is a pretty cool looking object and we can plant things in it similar to our petal apathy. We throw things onto it and we can make really advanced items. You'll need more living rock because um, if you make any of the let's see, runes, you'll be making runes with the altar. Once you put all these items onto the altar, it'll ask for a living stone that you plant, and then you use your wand to convert it in the, um, the living rock into a rune of water. And with this, um, you will also need to power your runic altar. So when you're after you've put all the items on, it'll need power, it'll need mana to turn that into a runic um, tome. So just move your mana spreader to charge up your runic altar.
And then the last bit is a mana tablet. It's one of the many items you can make in Botania. Uh, it allows you to carry mana around with you and it powers um, certain items. So say I made a rod of the lance which allows me to make dirt whenever I want. So I can make a bunch of dirt. And um, this will grab um, mana from your mana tablet. I made my mana tablet into a band of mana, which is also helpful. And um, essentially to charge up your mana tablet, you take your wand of the forest and you set this so that it says mana pool to mana tablet. And then you toss your item in. And now we'll do the reverse thing. It'll send the mana to your item. And there you go. That's how you get into Botania. Thanks for watching.